routine today um i am doing like a holographic um like glittery look first i have to figure out how to match this situation here i think i'm gonna do this born this way well foundation in warm nude and this urban decay all-nighter shade five but i don't really want it to be that thick in the all-nighter is super thick so I don't know <laughs> okay so everybody that's watching I'm trying to film this while I have tons of people here and my boyfriend's in the back so it's a little distracting but anyways this foundation color is looking pretty bad Not true. okay anyway so we're gonna apply this all over the face and it doesn't really match, but we're just gonna go with it. And excuse like just how much of a mess this video is because I'm in a hotel, you know, not the usual setup going on. It's too light. Thank you. Okay, next we're gonna go in with concealer. And it's the Naked Skin in shade Light Warm. There's two different shades. There's like light beige and light warm or something like that. And it makes a huge difference which color. Like they're way different, which is weird. They should be very similar, but they're not. Put it on my little marks. I've never been too into like this thing, but it's Coachella. So let's just like go all out here. Anyway, so then blend that in. I'm sure that you can hear the music out there. I literally am in a little tiny hotel. <clears throat> this is, there's one bedroom and then a living area with eight people and yeah, mimosas, cheers. Now I'm doing the Laura Mercier translucent setting and I'm actually gonna really set. And usually I don't like bake, but like I said, Coachella, going balls to the wall here. What? Um. Maybe. They just asked me if I wanted a palm tree tattoo. Probably like a flash tap, but I don't know if I want one yet. I have to see if I, it goes with my outfit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now apply the translucent powder all over, which is basic procedure. Guys, I know this video is a mess, but the final look is like gonna be amazing. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for it. Keep watching because this holographic look I have going on, is gonna be amazing. I can probably fast forward this part a little bit. Oh, I'm getting so excited. Like I hear them playing the music and everything and I'm just can't wait to get out there. Next, we're gonna go in with bronzer. And I'm using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Huge Ass One. I've been using this forever and it never goes away. So that's just awesome. I don't want it, I want it to be kind of sharp. Ooh, oh nice. Couldn't have turned out better. Bring it down the neck. Steven! <laughs> Cheers! Wait. <laughs> Other side. Want to say hi? Put your face in here. Sure. Also, you'll see him in the vlog. This is Luis. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you're all out. What up, YouTube? Girl. Yeah, what up, YouTube? What up, YouTube? Okay, this feel, this like is all coming together with the tan like so nicely. Okay, now we're getting to an exciting part, and that is um, the highlighting. We're gonna use this um, Alchemist holographic palette. And I've used this before for like the same kind of makeup look, and I'm a big fan. <clears throat> we're gonna use the middle shade <clears throat> called Ultraviolet um, Amethyst. And tap off the excess because there's a lot of fallout on that. Can you see that yet? I'll do more layers. It's a holographic purple. Oh, you can see it now. Oh, baby. Now, um, eyebrows. Do them brows. Okay. Oh, I'm using the Dip Brow Pomade in Shade Chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. <laughs> okay, so this eyebrow is way thicker than this brow. So let's figure that out. Now I'm gonna put some setting um, stuff in it and brush them out a little bit because they're really like gelled down right now. Okay, and I'm using this Hourglass um, Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. And I'm using this because they discontinued Gimme Brow and Gimme Brow is my life, which is just sad that they had to go and do that. But I'm just brushing these through to kind of soften up the brow a little bit because it was like really intense with the gel I'm not like 100% sure what to do with the eyes because um, I don't want to do like a brown eyeshadow because I feel like that would just throw everything off so I might just do glitter eyeshadow okay I just grabbed my Jaclyn Hill palette to see if there's any shades in here that would work with like holographic there's a purple but I just I've never done purple it kind of sketches me out actually I'll put a little bit of this purple on and then put over the um, glitter I just don't want it to look like a black eye I've never used purple on my eye before okay that looks pretty good okay faint faint purple let's add a little bit more because it's not scaring me oh i'm gonna take um eyelash glue and <clears throat> i would be fine with like doing just glitter glue but i kind of feel like that's not gonna hold the glitter and it's gonna fall in my eyeball we're going to put this glue on and I'm going to put this on my eyelid and I'm kind of sketched out right now because holy shit you don't usually just do that and then I'm going to take a flat like shader brush like where is it this one and dip it in the glitter. And put this where I just put the glue. And now I'm gonna go have someone blow it off because it's gonna get all in my eye. BRB. Okay, so this is the glitter. This is gonna be the look. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye and not film that part. Okay, now both of those eyeballs are on. And let me think of my next step. I don't know what to do next. Um, okay, and now I'm gonna put a little bit of stars on my cheekbones. And the stars that I'm going to use are these from Etsy called Face Treasures. Be iconic. 
They're like holographic stars like that. Let's do it. Okay, and then I'm gonna use glitter glue for this part because I just don't really wanna put, um, cause I'm gonna put, gonna put the stars few and far in between. So I don't really wanna um, put, use eyelash glue like on my whole cheekbone, but I'm gonna put this on my whole cheekbone. And then dip my finger in this bag of stars. Dude, this was an expensive bag of stars and there's like nothing in here. So that's really cool. These are probably all gonna fall off. Oh my God, this glitter glue wasn't even working. So that's just stupid as shit. But anyways, that's like the gist. So I think I might actually have to use eyelash glue. Let's just do it because Yo, freaking low. Oh, way better. With the stars. Stickage. Let's put some here. And dab that glue around. Get some more stars up in here. Oh my god. People don't really do, I don't know if people really go like this glittery for Coachella, but I'm just 100% feeling it. This might be like more of a ravey <laughs> type of thing, but I don't really care, honestly. So let's just go like that and dab that in. And I mean, if some stars get on there in the process, that's fabulous. But now I'm just gonna dab my finger in the stars again, get some more and put them on here yay i love them i love my stars i love just like this holographic look is giving me life okay so now i'm gonna do my eyeliner and i'm gonna use my favorite eyeliner which is the sex kitten by tarte So there's the wing on one eye. Okay. Now I have the wings on. Things are coming together and I'm really liking it. And now I'm going to do mascara and no fake lashes because I just don't want to deal with those in the heat and stuff. So I'm using um, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just putting hella of that up on these lashes Ooh. wow once you put like the lashes in this looks so good fake lashes no real ones put the lashes in they're not fake well i don't know i'm just like put them on my face like with the black mascara look looks good doesn't you it you do look really pretty thank you Oh, How do my eyelashes look so amazing right now? God is with me on this Coachella day. Hey y'all, so I put on my outfit, um, like just a tiny bit of it. Um, I have my necklace in this bag right here, so I guess I'll um, do that right now. I can't decide if I wanna put sparkles on my chest. I'm thinking maybe not, just like let it be. You know, and then um, I'm going to do my lipstick now. So, what we're going to do is take this lip liner in Lovecraft. Best lip liner literally known to man. Hey guys, okay. Okay, so now after the lip liner, we're going to do um, the same shade but in lipstick this is like my every single day go-to okay so now i'm gonna do the vice special effects urban decay um holographic lip sparkles in white lie and 
Um, it's like a brush, and I'm just gonna. It's really cool. Look at. That's a good one, right? A fox, though. Like you said. This is the final makeup. So I have on this striped hat my makeup. I put in my hair extensions. I have this brandy necklace. I have these little random glasses and then this cute little like romper that I added this belt to. White dogs and this adorable smiley backpack from Dolls Kill. This belt is vintage, so I don't know where it's from. And this is Honey Honey Bunch or something, the brand. 